what's happening people welcome to another video on the channel today in front of us we've got the toro leather case for the iphone 15 pro max uh, so now toro is not a very very well-known company uh, they're a company based in newcastle england uk and uh, they're more well known for their uh, wallet cases uh, but i saw this uh, case on amazon and it took my interest and i thought i might as well pick it up and uh do a review on it see how it is and so here it is in front of us um it comes in this uh uh this packaging here it says toro on the front with their logo and this is their website toro.co.uk and um, simple packaging and this is a very affordable price uh currently it's on amazon for about 25 pounds and for a real leather case that's a, a pretty good price and there's also discount codes available sometimes um, which you can use um, let's open the box and take the case out so yeah pretty simple packaging here and um, it comes with this sort of insert here let's just take this out that's there to keep it fresh and uh, this is the case itself so I've got it in the uh, dark brown color which I think looks really nice it also comes in blue and black as well so yeah this is the our first look at this case really and um, comes with this uh, nice microfiber inner lining which is nice and soft it'll keep your uh, iphone nice and safe in there let's move this packaging to the side and let's pop it on the scale let's see how much it weighs So 39 grams and I believe the and RS pen which I reviewed in another video was also exactly the same 39 grams so definitely on the minimal side not too heavy uh, it's not going to add too much uh, bulk to your phone and uh, just to inform you this is made of top grain leather not full grain leather and it's sourced from uh, Toro say uh, US uh, the top US tanneries um, so this is from this leather is from the US and it's top grain leather uh, so that's interesting to know and um, let's bring over the iPhone it's the iPhone 15 Pro Max in blue titanium and let's pop it in so we do have MagSafe here just to inform you of that as well and we have some Toro branding in, on the inside too and let's pop it in So snaps in there really really nice it's really snug and tight fit and um, this is how it looks on the phone i think that br dark brown color looks really nice and just looking at the leather as well it looks really really uh, a rugged type of leather and definitely not as refined as the and rs pin but in its own right it looks uh, really really nice as well you can really see the don't know if you can pick it up on the camera but it's got a really sort of you can see the grain of the leather and it does have a really leathery look if that's a word <laughs> and uh, so it looks really really nice uh how is the fit on the case let's just test these corners out it's a really really tight fit yeah nice snap there and let's just take this corner off it's really really tight fitting and that's a, a nice snap there on that corner too nice snap there and also there so we have a uh, really really uh, nice fits on the corners it will keep your iphone safe uh, if you drop if you drop your iphone um, this corner is going to stay pretty stable on there and uh, so you've got nothing to worry about in terms of the fit going around the case as well um, very very rigid around the around the sides and around the around the buttons still quite rigid and um so yeah i'm really impressed with the fit on this case really good indeed uh let's look at the the screen lip so as you can see even with my screen protector there we do get a nice screen lip you can see that clearly there really nice screen lip no problems putting your phone down like that on the table 
Um, as long as it's a smooth table and a smooth surface, you've got nothing to worry about. Let's look at that camera protection. We have a nice uh, camera ring here. It's made of metal and it looks really, really premium. I do like that effect. Um, we have the dark brown here and a slightly lighter brown for the camera ring. Um, it does look really, really sophisticated uh, on there. <clears throat> and let's look at that camera protection. So as you can see, it does raise just above the camera lenses. And so uh, you've got nothing to worry about in terms of putting your phone down like this on a surface. Uh, your camera lenses are going to be protected by that very nice and smart uh, camera ring there. So far, I'm really impressed with this with this case. Uh, for a case that's only £25, um, about half, less than half the price of the Andar Aspen, um, this case is, is really impressing me so far. Let's look at the buttons. We have really, really nice tactile buttons. They are metal buttons on this one. And um, the volume up and down are really, really tactile. The action button is also nice and tactile. Um, so that's really, really good. And the power button is nice and tactile as well. I wouldn't say it's as tactile as the, the volume up and down and the action button. Similar here to the end RS pen, uh, this one feels a little bit stiffer uh, compared to these buttons on this side. Um, but still, nice and tactile, uh, nothing really too much to worry about there. Um, we have some Toro branding here, which is uh, discreet, it's not on the back here, um, it's, it's on the side, so uh, that's not too bad at all. Overall, how does it feel in the hand? It feels really comfortable in the hand, actually. Um, that The type of leather they've used on the back, top grain leather, feels really, really nice in the hand and, and feels really sort of, gives you a rugged feel um, to this case. And it feels really, really solid in the hand and really comfortable too. Uh, we've got nice smooth edges on the back. That really helps the in hand feel. And um, so it does feel really, really nice and comfortable in the hand. I do like this dark brown color. And I think it goes quite nicely with the camera lenses here. Uh, the blue showing through on the, on the camera uh, lenses here. I think that does suit the blue, blue titanium quite well. But I reckon this color will, will go with uh, any color iPhone you have this year quite, quite nicely. And it also comes in a few different color options as well. As I mentioned earlier, it comes in uh, blue. And black as well so um, you can also match your uh, your iPhone um, with those matching colors as well um, so here we have it yeah it does feel really nice in the hand it feels quite uh, light as well it's not going to add, add too much bulk to your phone um, so overall I'm really impressed with this case uh, I don't think it's the most popular I don't think many people know about it at the moment uh, that's why I thought I'd give it a try and uh, I was interested myself and uh, and now I'm showing it to you guys um, I actually think this is a really solid leather option um, I know that there's other leather options on the on the market at the moment we have obviously the bull strap the end our aspen and I I have to say I'm, I'm really impressed with this for 25 pounds here in the UK um, it's it's a really good buy in my opinion. Uh, you're getting good decent protection. You've got good screen protection there, good camera lenses, camera lens protection there too, and nice tactile buttons. Uh, a very very decent fit as well. And let's just test out the MagSafe. Let's bring over the uh, Anchor six two two magnetic battery and pop it on the back. So it goes on there nicely. Uh, charging as you can see. Um, Testing MagSafe with the leather cases, uh, it's never the, the fairest test because leather is a very slippy material. Um, so they tend to slip off quite quite fast. But let's just give it a shake now and just see how strong the magnets are in this. Um, it's doing quite well, to be fair. Uh, it's actually doing quite well. Um, a really, really nice... Um, uh, the grippiness is really quite good on this in terms of the magnet strength on the back. It's doing quite well. Let me just shake it a bit harder now. And it's moving a little bit as you can see, but it hasn't come off. 
which is quite impressive. So I am impressed with the with the magnets on this for a leather case. Normally, I think by this point it would have slipped off, um, but the battery pack has held on quite well. Uh, so I'm really impressed there with the MagSafe. I didn't expect that. Let's bring over the MagEasy grip from Pitaka and pop it on the back. Yep, went on there really, really nicely. And let's just test it out. Yep, the magnets are, are really strong in this. I can tell uh, from these tests that the magnets are quite strong. Um, so you've got nothing to worry about when it comes to your MagSafe accessories. Um, the phone isn't going anywhere. So overall, this has taken me by surprise, this case. Um, I thought I'd try it out because of the decent price point. And um, it hasn't let me down, this one. Uh, I think it's a really, really decent offering. Gives you that really uh, nice leather look on the back as well with that grain showing through. And I've, I've got a feeling that this will patina really nicely as well. Um, so for £25, uh, I would recommend this case. If, you're, if you like leather cases, definitely give this one a go. Um, I, I can't recommend this highly enough. I think it's a really good leather offering if you're into leather cases. This is a really nice, nice case. So guys, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned to the channel. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.